nation is currently going through famine. We need to find a new island so we can find resources and bring food back home, says Deku. As his captain sails the boat to a new island they are currently looking for. But right now they are stuck out in sea. And make things worse is they running out of food. As Deku is like, damn, we need to find a new place or we're going to die out here and it'll be all for nothing. Says Deku as his captain. Kisuke. Captain, this is really bad. As Kisuke starts to sweat. Yeah, kid, this might, this might be our last sail together. As all the men that was on the crew either are really extremely weak, sick, and some of them even passed away, and they had to throw them overboard. And to make matters worse, now they have men eating sharks following them around everywhere they go. Because the sharks got used to human flesh. So, what do we do, Captain? Pray to God that we find an island to stay on that's well suited for rebuilding a ship hopefully they have it has enough wood there or something or otherwise they're screwed we won't even make it back home if we don't find an island says Kisuke as he sits down as Deku sits next to him as he passes his half an apple to Deku as they share an apple so, this might how it ends, huh? Looks like that way, kid. It was a good ride, a good time hanging with you. I had a lot of fun with the crew. But unfortunately, this might be the end. As we time skip, three days go by. As Deku starts to get delirious. As he is about to jump in the water. As Kisei has to grab him before he does a suicidal... Um, move. Are you stupid? Go on, snap out of it, man. Man, you don't see all that food that's there, man? Let me go. I need to get the food. I'm starving, says Deku. As Kisuke is holding him down really tight so he doesn't jump in the water and get killed. Come on, snap out of it, Deku. You in delirious. You have delirious right now. As Deku's like, oh, let me go. I gotta eat. I'm starving. Let me go. As he bites Kisuke on his hand. As Kisuke almost let Deku go, but he ignores the pain to hold him down. I, I'm starving, man. Just let me go. Says Deku. I'm sorry. I can't let you go out in a gruesome way like that. We just gotta hope the wind picks up and sells us to the nearest island. You just have to hang tough. As Deku is like, <laughs> how long can we last? <laughs> this, this, I don't want to die like this, says Deku. As he falls on the ground. As Kisuke is like, I know it's tough, man, but we have to tough it out. Hey, look. As Deku gets up a bit. Hey, man, look. Things get worse to worse. You can eat my leg. As Deku gets a shocked face. We have to. But if I do that, then I don't want to resort to cannibalism, says Deku. Hey, look, Deku. It's either me or you. And to be honest with you, I don't think I'm going to make it. As Deku gets a serious face. Huh. It's like that, huh? As he's been hiding something from Deku. The other day, as he was um, cutting um, the last piece of their food, he accidentally cut his hand really bad. And the thing is, they ran out of medical supplies. So his hand got infected really, really bad. As he says, look, either I'm gonna die of starvation I'm gonna die because of this affection. But before that happens, please eat my leg or something to survive. As Deku is like, 
he kind of gulps, you know, as, um, he's like, if I have no choice, I'd do it. But right now, I'm going to try to hold out until we find a new island. Hopefully, we find a new place to go. As Deku looks in the water at the ocean, as he sees a whole bunch of shark fins um, swimming past him, as one of their fellow mates has passed away, as he says, well, I'm sorry, bro. I'm about to let your soul rest in the sea. As he throws him overboard so they don't have cross contamination with rotten flesh. Unfortunately, disease can be a very dangerous thing for them right now. So they throw him overboard as the sharks viciously tear him to shreds. As it makes Deku kind of throw up. As um, he, he just sits back down. Damn, plastic sharks. I swear I'm gonna hate sharks after this if we make it through this, man. <laughs> You're not the only one. <laughs> As the sharks are thrashing in the water, just ravaging the dead body, shredding it into pieces. As they're both laid back down and try to get some rest, ignoring their hunger pains. Time skip five days after. When Deku wakes up, he looks around and tries to find Kisuke, but Kisuke is nowhere to be found. As <clears throat> he looks on the front deck, as he sees Kisuke standing on the edge of his boat, as Deku is like, what are you doing? He's like, man, I don't think I can do this anymore. As Deku is like, don't you try to do this bullshit. You can't tell me not to do it, but then you won't try to do it. What kind of half-ass excuse is this? You can't give up just like that. I'm like, I'm, uh, Deku, I don't have much of a choice, damn it. It's either I die a really painful death, or I let the sharks do it really quick. As Deku starts to cry, as he runs over to Kisuke and gives him a hug, and she's like... Damn it, man. I wish things didn't end this way. I don't. But hey, look. As Kisuke cuts off his arm. Hey. Worst come to worst. Please. Eat something. I know this is grotesque. But you might be the only one that can make it. You're much younger than I am. Plus. I've had a pretty fair life up to this point. As, um. Deku was like. What do I say to your family, man? Like, just tell them I love them very much. My my youngest son, I hope he understands. As he says farewell, Deku. As he jumps off into the sea where the sharks viciously tear him to shreds. God damn it! Shit, says Deku. I'm the only one left. God, please help me. Please steer this boat into the right direction of an island, please. I don't care what island it is. Just, please, I need to get food. So this, just don't be in vain. I need to save our families back home that's going through famine, please, says Deku. As it fades into the night, as he can hear the horrors in his head, as his fellow mates fell into the ocean one day and was eaten alive by sharks. Their screams echo through his head, terrifying him every night until he just had enough. As Deku goes for broke, he only has one gamble. As, as there was an island two yards away, but his ship panel broke. So he couldn't steer the boat in the right direction. As all he has to do is swim two yards and he can make it. But that's a huge gamble with these sharks. As Deku says, well, either this or die. As he starts to tear pieces of his boat to make a mischief raft. As he tries his best to make a good raft. And... He's like, hey, if this doesn't work, 
I guess some fish food. As he throws the raft into the water, as he hops on top of it, and starts to use his pickaxe as a paddle. As he's sailing towards the island. He doesn't know what this island has in store for him, but that's something he has to think about if he even makes it to the island. As he looks behind him, as he sees seven fins stick out the water, swimming towards his way. As he starts to paddle harder, harder, and he doesn't look back no more. He just keeps on pushing. At this point, his agility is pushing him to go this far. As he paddles, 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 paddles. As the sharks are gaining on him, as he's like, shit. As the sharks were about to attack him, by some miracle and some unknownly force saves him. A pack of orcas happened to be in the area. As the orcas chase, chased off the sharks. As he's like, <laughs> what do you know? Orcas. Oh, thank God for that. As he finally sails off into the island. As he touches down, picks axe into the ground. As he collapses through to the exhaustion and his adrenaline and running out. <laughs> wow, I never thought I'd be saved by orcas out of all things. As he passes out. A few hours later, he finally gets up. And he looks around. He realizes it's nighttime. I should probably start a fire just in case there's dangerous animals on this island. At least the fire will keep them away. As he gets some dry wood and some dried marsh and burn them, he starts to rub a stick together to start a fire. As he's really proficient with this type of um, work. As he starts a fire immediately. <laughs> now what do I do? This animal. It's probably dangerous to search for food right now. Since it's dark, I'd rather wait until the morning time. As Deku lays back down and gets some sleep. As he has his machete in his hand, just in case. As he falls soundly to sleep. As he's sleeping, we hear weird languages talking amongst each other. As they say, huh, there's an outsider on our island. It looks like we're gonna eat good today, boys. As they get a malicious smile on their face. As they sharpen their blades. Let the hunt begin tomorrow, says one of the voices. As we cut to the morning. As Deku gets up, he fixes his hair. As he's like, well, it's time to forage for some food. As he is in the jungle, as he starts to see fruits and things he never seen before. What, what kind of fruits are these? As he picks up a mango, as he bites into it. He's like, oh my God, it's so, so sour and sweet. At the same time, it's so good. As he ravished 30 mangoes effortlessly. As he's like, oh, I haven't tasted anything this good in my life. Huh, I gotta see if there's any more things on this island. As, you know, as he was ravaging the fruits, as he saw a weird looking fruit. It had, it looked like scales, but it wasn't. The skin was like scaly, but when he cut the inside, it was like it had black and white spots in it as he bit into the fruit as when he bit into the fruit he's like oh it tastes terrible <laughs> write that one off the list as he felt something awaken within him he's like what the hell was that as he hoping that it wasn't anything toxic or anything like that as he prays to god that it's nothing that's dangerous a few hours go by, nothing happened to him. So he was like, maybe it was just a really bad tasting fruit then. As um he continues to search the island, as he realized the island is huge, 
But he's finding strange that there is no inhabitants on this island that he's not aware of. He doesn't know if there are. So he can he continue foraging and all that as he realized the animals on this island are really dangerous. As um he ducks behind a brush as a jaguar walks right past him without him even knowing that his deck was there. As Deku kind of gulps. Oh shit. There are man eating jaguars on this island. What else is here? As he sees elephants that are 10 times their normal size, which shocks him. As he's like, what is this island about? What is going on on here? As he says, I need to find some inhabitants that's on this island. Maybe I can get some communication. Maybe I can get back home with some plies. As he search around for human life on that island. So far, there hasn't been no results. As he sits down. Well, damn. As he sharpens his machete and his pick um, axe. It puts the pick axe on his back. and begins to walk around some more. I just see bandages up his arm. And we see one arm with bandages and the other one with a sleeve on it. As Deku covers his rib cage with a bandage because it also got cut as well. As he proceeds to go through the jungle. As he makes, he starts to make a mischief hut. As he says to himself, bring it on jungle. As I'm going to end with it right there. So guys, I hope y'all enjoy the video. It's been your boy, Killer Kill 360. I'm out. Peace.